Hey, we are Story Phantom, and we are back! Finally, after a very long unannounced hiatus, with Sword Art Online Abridged, Episode 10. So, I'm very, very sorry about how long it took us to get this episode going. Um, it's been crazy. Um, we are still fighting a little bit with some of the copyright strikes, so... Um, YouTube's basically ignoring us. They, they resolved the one, and they're ignoring us on the other one. So eventually, I think I might just end up deleting that video and re-uploading it and going from there. But this will eventually make its way to YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this when it just came out, though, you're probably watching it on Facebook. Um, and yeah, so we hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I think I slightly burned my tongue. My hot chocolate was too hot. <sighs> I prefer the hot chocolate you make with the milk because then it's a little bit cooler than the boiling hot water. But that would have taken too long. And I don't have the patience for that. So instead I used three bags of Swiss Miss to make it chocolatey enough. But then I burned my tongue because it tasted good and I wanted more. Three bags. Someone's going to be hyper later. Okay. So Am I ever hyper? Yes. No, I get weird. I don't get hyper. Yeah. When you start giggling, not uncontroll uncontrollably is when you get hyper. No, that's weird. It's weirdly hyper. Like how the battlefield gets weird. <laughs> Did you just make a Dynamax reference? Yep. Alright. No, I made a Pokemon reference because even when you're doing it like regular, it does that sometimes. No, not that I remember. Let's get started. Okay. Again, we're trying to work on this glitching thing. We're sorry. The following is a fan based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Adequate to USA, and Ricky Kawahara. Please support the official release. <sighs> if it didn't suck, I might. Excuse me? Sorry, I can't turn it off. I'm broken. Please fix me. Wow, that was almost kind of romantic. Yo, what are you doing? We're blowing this. What are we supposed to say? We don't even know we're going to like us in the first place. This, this was me. Yeah, our part's over. As long as she doesn't throw us any curveballs, I think we're good. So, what should we do now? Fuck! What the hell is she talking about? What's up for sex? I don't know. Well, the dating sims just put a credit to this point. Well, she asked us a question, so we have to say something. No, just, just say anything. Anything, anything. Just say it with confidence. Alright, here goes nothing. You should get married. No! <laughs> <laughs> that's not that obviously. I'm sorry, I don't want to under pressure. You know what? It's fine. Forget it. We'll just play it off as a joke. No harm done. Yes. Let's do it. Oh my oh, god. No, Wait <laughs> for it. She's pretty really happy about it. Maybe she knows something we don't. Bitch, why the fuck did you say yes? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. my god. Mute. Oh yeah. Why do these ads keep popping up in the season one? They're annoying. Because them. I want you to update your media player. I don't know. Your media player's up to date. My legs are sore. I think the unfreezing process is like fucked with me. Thank you for meeting me on such short notice. And might I say, congratulations on the wedding. Okay. The ending of our fight was a tad controversial. Hey, I heard those airports are so well, <laughs> things to burn, it seems the riot has reverted to a somewhat primitive tribalistic society with one player in particular rising up as their leader. They called him the King of Ashes. Ooh, ominous. So, in light of these events, I will be heading to floor 75 to try and engage the King and Fluffles in peace. <laughs> Fluffles? In a perhaps unsurprising twist, it seems Captain Fluffles has turned traitor and joined forces with the bandit. Well, well! <laughs> <laughs> a couple of What do you think we ought to do with them, Fluffles? Oh, my God, Fluffles! You are one sick kitty! I like it! Bring out the boiling oil! <laughs> oh, I see. 
It's you need me at the table, cracking jokes and breaking He's an evil kitty. I gotcha. <laughs> no! God, no! I need to hide you under the biggest rock I can find! Excuse me? <laughs> I'm going to cook this delicately. I'm afraid you'll piss someone off and kill thousands. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if it means avoiding the deaths of innocent players, I think the least you can do is take this one out. I'm also going to need you to stay behind and guard him, Ozuna. Oh, screw that noise! I'm coming too! Look, in the cave, <laughs> I prepared a nice little cabin for you guys on floor 22. Beautiful forest, view of the lake, you'll practically have the whole floor to yourselves, considering your honeymoon! But, uh, <sighs> uh, Oh, well, in that case, that sounds great. Yep, can't see any problems with that. You, Asuna? Nope. You and me alone in the woods for who knows how long? Find me the hell up! You mean you and I? <laughs> oh, young love, how I am for you. E. Holy balls! The commander wasn't kidding! This place is amazing! Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Yeah, this... this is nice. Hey, do you think getting married was the worst mistake of our lives? She's sleeping. Okay. He just falls asleep like that. What's wrong, Asuna? Oh, I was just thinking about 
how much I love Yui, then when I think about how much her real parents must miss her, must be worried sick looking for her, I just can't stand it. And she doesn't <laughs> <laughs> you can't just buy a child twice down there! Why not grab two? You're right, honey. I mean, while we're out, heck, maybe the guy just counted and we buy him in bulk. I mean, this isn't even a real orphanage. All these kids are parents in the real world. We'll take a 12-pack if you have it! Why only 12? Why not share them up with all the children? You're not listening to me. I see that now. Ma'am, we would like to buy your orphanage! Hello, my name is Yulier of the Einkrad Liberation Front. I was told I could find two of the strongest players in the game here. Please, I need your help. Okay. Well, I'm in the house of the... Dale, and this is my wife, Asna. Come on in, we're the new owners. What? I'll make some tea. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to speak with me. This is a lovely place you have here. Uh, they don't actually... Aw, oh, you're too kind. Please, enjoy my wife's tea. <laughs> well, you see, after a series of devastating losses, the ALF has been thrown into a bloodthirsty power struggle. And amidst the chaos and infighting, a contemptible creature by the name of Kibao has been amassing power at a frightening pace. Kibao? Wait, you don't mean beta testers? I'm oh, that guy. What? No. How can you let this happen? It all happened so fast. None of us saw it coming. I mean, would you? The man has the unbridled charisma of a Chipotle enema. <laughs> Before we knew it, there was simply no one strong enough to stand against him. That is, except for a certain thing with the boss. He bravely and sexily stood against Kibao's tyranny and pleaded for an end to the fighting. For a while, yeah. it seemed like his beautiful words and... Uh, so we're actually getting yeah. through him. <laughs> What's wrong with this lady? Oh, wait for it. Surprise. It was nothing but a trap. That vile snake just left my poor thinker to die down there. That's why I came to you two. Please, you have to help me rescue him. Why doesn't he just use a teleport crystal to get out? He thought he was going to a peace talk. He didn't bring any weapons or items with him. This peace talk, which was held... In a dungeon? I know. He's a moron. That wonderful man gave that bastard the benefit of the doubt, only to walk into a trap. It's quite ironic. No, it is not. No? It's not. It's not at all what irony is. I believe the turn of events you described would be best classified as completely expected. What, what are you talking about? Irony. Now, a state of affairs or an event that seems deliberately contrary to what one expects and is often amusing as a result. For example, your leader is named Thinker, yet he appears to be something of a villain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yui, that was amazing! I wish I had like a tiny little light for you to drop. Oh my god, that would be adorable! <laughs> <laughs> the good name of Thinker. He is the greatest, most intelligent man I have ever known! You haven't known many men. <laughs> That's his more <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Looks like you and I are the only sane ones here, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, Mama's scary. Get away! Where? I'll kill him! I'll fucking kill him! <laughs> Is he gonna be all right? Oh, no. Just let him work it out of his system. He'll tire himself out eventually. If you say so. On a related note, are you at all concerned by the delight your daughter seems to be taking in all this? Go for the eyes, Papa! How does that week Yeah, that's Clara. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Hey, I think that's a safe room up ahead. You think he's in there? There's definitely someone in there. Crying and huddled in the fetal position. Julia? Oh, thank goodness you're here, Lieutenant. Be a dear and take care of this gangly fellow for me, would you? He's been blocking my way out all day. What the heck is he? Oh, for the love of... Get down! Thanks for the heads up on this guy, Finger! Wouldn't have killed you to send a quick, yo, trapped in a dungeon! He asked, you might want to keep your eyes peeled for the personification of death itself! Ah, uh, yes, that did occur to me, but sadly keep out for me that the messenger doesn't work down here, or reception and whatnot. And you believed it? Of course you believed it. Shh! <laughs> to be in this situation after all. Hey, come on up to my tea party in the middle of this minefield! Aw, oh, don't mind the razor wire, we have trumpets! Julia! We're gonna have some words with you two later. Most of which I'd rather not use in front of you. But for now, just get my daughter and your dumb asses out of here! Actually, Mama, I believe I could. No, no, child, let's not get your mind. Don't worry, Kirito, I've got your back. But the two of us, our love can conquer anything! Stop! Wow. The power of love is bullshit. Oh, it's such violence. That's where the money is. Little one, what are you doing? I am giving you one warning. Leave my mama, papa, alone, you big meanie. Huey, no! Huey, sweetheart, that's very brave, but I highly doubt that sweater of yours as much as I want to say defense. Huey! Of course, on the other hand, immortal object? Very well. We shall do this your way. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> so, I imagine you have some questions. Yeah, maybe a couple. First and foremost, what happened to your sweater, young lady? Is that seriously <laughs> what you want to ask her? What? It was expensive. If she's just going to lose it, then I'm not going to keep buying it. <laughs> intelligence designed to psychologically evaluate and care for the players of Sword Art Online. Designation, Yui. Oh my god, you're a psychiatrist AI? Well, I can certainly think of a few people who could use your help. Indeed, <laughs> that's why I was so distraught when, on the day of the game's launch, Kayaba Kihiko locked me away and forbade me to interact with the players. For years, all I could do was sit and watch. Oh god, you made you watch? Day after day, constantly bombarded by the pain and anger of all the people I could not help, I gradually fell into despair. But then, all of that changed when I found you two. Aww. The most <laughs> broken, sociopathic players I had ever laid eyes on. <laughs> people had a loose collection of character defects. That kind of went in a different direction than I was expecting. But somehow, that. together, you were happy. Everything I knew about human relationships told me that one would eventually kill the other. And yet, no matter how often you fought, your bond only seemed to grow stronger. I decided that my information must be flawed in some way, and that I needed to amend it firsthand. You... you mean... I wanted to know what love is. I wanted you to show me. God, the order. You mean the band, right? I am sorry I lied to you. I inserted myself into your lives merely to satisfy my own curiosity. At least, at first. It was nice to be a part of your family. I... I wish I really loved your daughter! <laughs> you are, Huey! You already are! Yeah, kid. You're not 
don't go in anywhere. Well, actually. Oh, no. What do you mean? In order to beat that boss earlier, I needed to hack into this admin console. By now, the system will have targeted me as a foreign entity. It will not be long now before it tracks down my code and deletes me. Aww. What? No! Are you serious? There has to be some way to stop it. Maybe we can use the console to- It is okay. You do not have to pretend to love me anymore. I know you only kept me around as a pawn for your mind games. Although, I do admit, I did enjoy being your pawn. No, you, you don't understand. We, we weren't pawn. We were, but, but you're not. Please do not cry. Mama, it is okay. I'm sorry. I saved Yui. Uh, oh yeah! I mean, now that I look more closely. Oh, for the love of That's not literally her. Uh, I just saved her data to my nerve gears and then my <coughs> That way, when we finally beat this game, we can bring her back. And then, then we can tell her how we really feel. Oh, Kirito! You gonna be the tampon for that gigantic vagina you just screwed? I know, I know. I'm gonna be so Hey, uh, Asma, for real this time. No bullshit. Do you think we got married too quickly? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, me too. Do you want to stay together anyway? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, me too. Was that the entire conversation? I think it was. It's <laughs> so easy! You're so stupid! <laughs> Let's hope we don't have to sacrifice a small child every time we need to have a talk like this. Otherwise, you know... Buying that orphanage may not have been a terrible investment. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kirito! That's awful! <laughs> what? Oh my god. That was super weird. That was so weird. Um, all of it. Well, you were sad there at the end. I was, but I'm still frozen, so I can't cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cold. My tear ducts are frozen. And I have a headache, like, right here from the freezing. Honestly, Yui was one of the reasons why I did not want Clara to watch this show. Oh, yeah, she would have lost it. She... And, well, I think some exposure to... Sad things is good. That's why we watch Ruby with her. So I talk to who with her. As you pointed out, this little girl is a lot like Clara. <laughs> Just did not seem like a smart decision. To watch herself die, basically. Basically. <laughs> she would have been very, very upset. Remember that squirrel? The squirrel she laughed at? Yeah. There was like a roadkill squirrel outside our garage and I was like oh that's gross there's a dead squirrel out here and she like walked over and looked at it and was like <laughs> and then walked away it was really weird she's an odd little girl we're raising a sociopath suddenly we disappear you all know what happened you know I got me Kirito there <laughs> <laughs> um so, but you enjoyed that episode? Yeah. It was pretty funny. They remind me of me. They remind you of you every episode. Every time I go to have like an argument, if I know I'm wrong, I'm like, nope. Mm -mm. It's too late now. Yeah, no I'm aware. Back. No going back. I'm well aware. No going back. You're very frustrating to argue with. Yeah, my brain works a little bit faster than his when it comes to arguing because I grew up around stuff like that. So, like, even when I'm wrong, I will argue until I'm right. <laughs> it's really bad. Not healthy. 
Anyway. Meh. Are you... Kirito and Asuna healthy? No? Eh, no. That, that pretty much sums the, me up. That's never, been the, uh, that's never been the claim for them. At least in this, they're not so much this in the actual show, but in this, they're a realistic depiction. <laughs> and the show is all, you know, butterflies and rainbows. My skin's pretty clear. So for the circles under my eyes. My glasses are pretty clear. I can tell because I can see right through them. Anyway, if you liked our content, please like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear from you guys. Uh, we will try and make sure we get the rest of these out to you guys as soon as we can. And I will eventually get on Twitter. We should figure that out today. Sure. Anyway. Damn it. That was so sad. It really was. All right. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and say bye. And uh, see you guys next time.